Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Brett, Randomices, and Tobias. Yes, and we are having a share today, shooting some reviews of some beers that Tobias was kind enough to help us buy over in Copenhagen. Yep. And quite a few, actually. Yeah, quite a lot. Uh, Full fridge today. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we're going to start off by checking out a brewery that we've all heard of, but never tried beer from. This is from Aslan over in the States, in Virginia. Uh, for some reason, I thought they were from Washington. I don't know why. But I remember seeing Joe from Jarrah's Arcade. You know him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, review some of the beers from these guys before they started canning, when yeah. it was Growlers. Uh, but now they're canning. And the beer we're checking out today, guys, is uh, two beers, actually. We're doing a two-for-one, and this is their Orange Starfish IPA, which is the first one we're checking out. 5.7% alcohol IPA with Galaxy and Citra. Yep. And then they decided to make a fun little <laughs> spin on it, which is the Chocolate Orange Starfish IPA. So, made with chocolate. It says with chocolate or coconuts, also 5.7%, and also Citra and uh, Galaxy Hops. And uh, yeah, you got them at the McKellar's yeah. bottle yeah, shop. His, his bottle shop in yeah. the tall heaven. Because these didn't make it to the web shop because no. it was a very limited quantity. But exactly. It will be fun to try some Aslan. So let's start off with orange starfish fish. <laughs> well, that's hazy. <laughs> and you well, jumped all, Yeah, I already <laughs> jumped. Yep. It looks very nice. I think very it does. orange. We've looked quite a lot. On, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. so I've been yeah. taking pictures and pouring. But nice orange color. It looks <laughs> yeah. like orange juice. You really want to drink it. <laughs> I'll drink it now when you <laughs> And a nice head retention actually as well. Yeah. Sometimes these like hazy IPAs they don't have the best head retention. No. It looks very nice. Mm -hmm. What white ish? Mm -hmm. Let's check out the aroma. Yeah. Let's let's get going. Quite orangey, but I'm yeah. definitely also getting like lemon lime yeah. feel or something like that. It's got some pithiness. It's got almost it's like quite, West Coast pithiness. It's quite pithy. Um but yes, a lot of orange. Yeah, orange, like, a, yeah. just quite an orange bomb, actually. It has a bit of a, a green herbaceous yeah. note for me that's reminding me of aloe vera. Yeah. I'm not quite picking that up. No, mm. it's not too much. But I see definitely see that pithy uh, yes. orange peel, lemon peel. Yeah, yeah there's maybe no, a bit of no lime. surprise in the name. No. <laughs> no. no. Uh, maybe some grapefruit. Yeah. Maybe even pine. Yeah, like classic. It's like juicy yeah. with a little bit of a classic yeah. touch. Just a touch, yeah. Mm. Smells nice. Let's give it a taste. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely orange. A good kick of malt to it as well, though. Yeah. yeah. But we are not entirely sure about the age in these no. because there's no dating on the cans. No. no. It doesn't taste super fresh. fresh. No. no. It has a good amount of malt flavor left, still, like bready malt. Yeah. There's definitely orange, but it's not like that crazy bright popping juicy no, it's flavor. it's mellowed out a bit. Uh, it makes it very, very drinkable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but it's, yeah, it's very... And only 5.7%. It's super smooth. Yeah. Yeah, really smooth. Smooth orange, Yeah. almost like a slightly orange sorbet kind of thing. I'd say like lots of orange, also a little bit of the sweet citrus tangerine mandarin, yeah. but it's super pithy to me, like the bitter peel. Mm. Also in the flavor. Yeah. It, yeah. Is there... And it's interesting, you're not getting like the melon characters in some of the tropical vibes you get from no, melon. No, really. it's true. Maybe there's like, it seems like there's a bit of a fleshy melon thing, yeah. overripe melon, but it's very, very yeah, light. It seems like it could have been more intense when it was mm. fresher. It's quite hidden. But you sense there's something a bit more tropical, maybe, on the line. Mm -hmm. um, and it's quite pillowy, I would say, mm -hmm. like creamy, uh, without being super thick. It's just very good mouthfeel. Very delicate on the palate. Pillowy is a good way of mm. to like mm. like nice mouth coating yeah. without being like crazy thick. You could imagine this super fresh actually being yeah. very, very vibrant nice. and yeah. That's but, uh, nice. Yeah. So. Maybe we should check out the next one, which is sounds yeah. like pretty interesting. This is the chocolate orange starfish. <laughs> so it's basically orange starfish made with coconuts. Yeah. And it sounds weird, chocolate or coconut in an IPA, but I guess basically what they want to do is do something like chocolate orange flavored yeah. because yeah. chocolate and orange is a mm. thing. So, but it sounds interesting. I'm, I, I don't think I've ever had coconuts in an IPA. Maybe in some of the milkshake beers from Tired Hands. I haven't tried any 
IPAs with chocolate in. No, me neither. So uh, maybe not either. Actually, the most crazy I've had is a coffee IPA. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I've had that as well. But pours, isn't it a little bit darker? Nah, I think it looks darker because there's yeah. like the glass is yeah. a different shape. Yeah, but I think it's actually the same color. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I just feared that it would come out brown. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. glass yeah. Yeah. like yeah. being very ugly. Yeah, New England uh, brown ale. It looks good. <laughs> Same head as well, like that kind of nice, slightly off white. Yeah. Mm. Well, you're on. <laughs> what? Whoa, that, that is that that weird. It really smells like smelling a fresh bag of coconuts. Yeah. And then it has some uh, juicy orangey notes underneath. But it, it smells kind of like the Tom's uh, orange. Orange, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, it tastes like orange chocolate bars. Yeah. <laughs> but I must a say, little bit. it's a bit weird though. My yeah. sister extra. used to work for a baker and they had this crazy tropical chocolate at one point that she got some off home and it's just, it smells like this. Okay. But it smells like a baker's. Baker's chocolate, yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's actually nice smelling. Mm, uh, it's I very, it would be like, what the hell is this? But it's actually not that off putting. It's at quite. All. Uh, it smells quite nice. It's yeah, very, it's very quite accessible good. actually. Yeah. Quite interesting. It smells a bit fresher than the other one as well. I don't know. I seem it has a, yeah. a little bit more vibrancy to it. Yeah, I see what you mean. But yeah. I think maybe that's just. Yeah, maybe the, the, the edge on yeah. yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> the chocolate is more bitter than I had imagined. It seems like it's more bitter than the other one as well. But it mm. on the it's flavor, it seems maybe older actually because there's more. Yeah, like, but the chocolate really dominates over the orange. Yeah. It doesn't really pop on the palate. Mm. It's quite f almost kind of flat. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Mm. It, it's it as doesn't if it have a pulls lot of down the hot flavor a bit. So the hop flavor isn't very vibrant. And then it has... It's very nice having a sip of the regular after yeah. having some of the chocolate. I'm, I'm getting like, when you have a, have a dark bar of chocolate, you get like this bit of feel in, in the sides of your mouth. And mm. I'm, I'm getting yeah. that by drinking this. Okay. okay. I'd say as for putting the chocolate in there, it's actually okay. It's yeah. Not, yeah. But it's not I'm thinking like, wow, this is cool and amazing and great. But maybe it's also because of the freshness. I'd imagine super fresh. Maybe it was even more vibrant on the orange, and yeah. it'd be like more like juicy oranges with chocolate or something like that. Mm. But I still think both are pretty nice beers. Yeah, they're they're just not like mind blowers. But I really think that's because of the, the freshness. I think Probably so. Probably not completely super fresh. Yeah, you, you sense you know today you have so many dead fresh IPAs, so you yeah. really sense when they aren't completely fresh. fresh. Yeah. So for me, rating wise, I'd say like a ninety-two on yeah. the chocolate or or the orange starfish, Whoa, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the baby there, and eighty-eight to straight ninety for the chocolate. Right? Yeah. Um, for me, it's maybe a ninety-one on the orange starfish, and I think this one is maybe an eighty-seven, eighty-six. Yeah. Yeah. I was <laughs> uh, I was thinking straight ninety, and also eighty-eight on that. I mean, they're nice beers, but I really this stuff. I think they would be because they get great ratings. Especially ratings. this one. Yes, yeah. and they get great ratings. I think we're just unlucky in terms of freshness. That's just mm. how it is sometimes. But hey, that's how it goes. We have another beer from these guys. Two other beers. We have their triple IPA, yep. sweet berry wine made with berries, and then uh, their goza with apricot. Apricot. Yeah. What was that called? Just goza. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. it's easy to remember. But <laughs> if you guys had a chance to try some Aslan beer, especially if you got to try it orange starfish and chocolate orange starfish. Let us know what you thought of them, guys. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. See you guys in another video.